13 years ago. A little eight-year-old me, as well as thousands, nay, millions of people across the world gazed upon a true legend. Leonidas, a Bakugan from the very first Bakugan video game, and with no other appearance since then. If you knew Leonidas, you and I, as well as many other people, wanted, nay, we demanded that we get a real life legacy Leonidas toy. Sadly, we never got that. But, with his reappearance in the latest Bakugan video game, Bakugan Champions of Astroia, my childhood prayers have been answered. Leonidas is the only Bakugan that comes in the Bakugan Evolutions Battle Arena set. It comes in a bright neon green, and Leonidas himself is a Arliss Bakugan that looks more yellow than gold for my liking, but Leonidas is Leonidas. He has a pathetic 100B stat, but a whopping 10 damage. If you manage to get him to land or obtain two Helix cores, he gets an additional 1400B. This could lead for either some outrageously high B power and very little or medium attack damage, or you could go the opposite direction and give him more damage and still get very high B power with what cores are available to you. And with the cores that he comes in on the set, yeah, I mean, I guess it's okay, but it still could be better. So, for the price that you pay for the Arena and Leonidas, I personally don't think it's really worth it, considering his below average stats and the disgusting color of the Arena and Leonidas himself. But, as a Legacy fan who dreamed of having a Leonidas one day, this was amazing. So, unless you really, really want Leonidas, be it because you're a Legacy fan or goodness forbid, you actually really love the new Bakugan game on the Nintendo Switch, um, stay away from this. Don't get this. It's not worth it. Um, but like I said, if you're a fan, then go for it. Anyway, thank you all so much again for watching. Um, tell me what you think of this new format that I'm going to be trying to use to record videos going on forward, uh, where I do the unboxing and I just give you the brief stats, the look at the Bakugan, and not much else. I notice I do ramble a bit too much in videos, and I'm trying to cut down on that. So, once again, thank you, and stay strong, and battle on, Battle Brawlers. Bye-bye.